सो हे गाइज वेलकम टू द चैनल लोहन कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग विद कोच शेफ सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल दिस चैनल ब्रिंग्स यू अ लॉट ऑफ गुड कॉन्टेंट ऑन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एल्गोरथम्स एज वेल एज वेरियस वीडियो ऑडिटोरियल्स ऑन कोर्ट शेफ्स कॉन्टेस्ट सो प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब चैनल एंड टर्न ऑन द बेल नोटिफिकेशन माई सेल्फ चुराई जैन आई एम अ कोर्ट शेफ एजुकेटर एंड टुडे वी आर सॉल्विंग अ प्रॉब्लम दैट इज लिंक लिस्ट वन फ्रॉम द सीरीज लिंक लिस्ट ओके गाइस नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट दैट इज लिंक लिस्ट वन विद प्रॉब्लम कोड एल एल वन द लिंक टू दिस प्रॉब्लम यू कैन फाइंड इन द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट रीडिंग द प्रॉब्लम एंड वॉट एवर वी हैव लर्न इन द लिंक लिस्ट लेट्स ट्राई टू अप्लाई ओवर हेयर राइट सो बेसिकली वॉट इज गिवन टू अस इज कंप्लीट द फंक्शन इन द कोर्ट स्निपेट सो there's a snippet that will be provided to you so we need to complete that code snippet returning the value of nth node from the end of the singly linked list right so this question is of singly linked list and what we need to do we need to return the nth node from the last right so we have seen the traversal of the singly linked list in the video if you have not seen that video just go and watch the singly linked list video so basically in the singly linked list a we need to return the nth node from the last and the length is l right the function takes two arguments the head of the list and the integer n and you are expected to return the answer in the form of an integer right so the arguments that the function have right there is a function that is written so the arguments that it has is the head of the link uh, singly linked list and the integer n right so uh, the nth node which we need to return right from the last so this is what the question is if you see the input there are t number of test cases there are two things that is l and n right the length and the nth node that we need to return and the second line contains all the nodes right so this is this we do not need to care as there is this function that is we need to complete only we need not to care about the main functionality and the driver code that has already written okay and uh, there are certain languages like java c++ and python in which the code snippet is there and you can use it right the output now let us focus on the output the function you complete should return the required answer right so the value of the nth node from the last that should be returned from the function constraint if we see then the constraints are test cases are from 1 to 10 the number the node which we need to return and the length is uh, Uh, is ranging from 1 to 10 to the power 5 and the value inside that can range to 10 to the power 9 right so that these are some constraints which are helpful when we need to solve the problem which has you know certain uh, parameters for the uh, time complexity sub tasks that are given to you and it fulfill that right so this is very important when we need to take time complexity into consideration and these are the sample inputs so if you see uh the n and the l right so n is 3 so we have three nodes here and the l is 3 so from the last we need to return the third node right so what is the third node from the last if you see 1 2 3 is the uh, other number of nodes so from the last uh, first node that is 3 second node that is 2 and the third node from the last is 1 so the output is 1 right similarly here uh, we have three nodes and we need to return the last node right first from the last that is the last node right so 3 2 1 what is the last node that is 1 itself so the output is 1 so this is how this is how uh the question is framed and now let us see how we can solve this problem so first let us look at what we have just learned in the single linked list let's try to apply over this question and let's see a small quick approach for this particular problem okay guys so now let us quickly understand the approach of this problem right so the information that we have that is it is a single linked list right so we have seen what is a single linked list all the nodes are connected to each other with the help of pointers and in the unidirectional way right only in single direction so if we see <coughs> this is the head this is the null and these are the number of nodes right so if we want to calculate the nth node from the last let us say the value of n is 2 the second last node we need to have right so we can see okay this is the last node and this is the second last node so we can simply return it right but but we do not have any pointer like this this is not a doubly linked list right we do not have a pointer like this from this position we cannot reach this position we, we do not know that okay this node is connected to this right this particular node no okay okay my next node will be this 
but this node does not know that okay my previous node was this right so how we should calculate the second last node what logic we can use right so one more thing which is mentioned is the length of the linked list right the length of the linked list so here if we see the length of the linked list is 6 so if we want to know the second last node and the only thing that we have is we can move in this particular direction right from the starting then how we can verify that okay this is the second last node using the simple basic mathematics right what we can do is that okay this is uh, the linked list of length 6 and we need to find the second last node so what we can do we can subtract it okay the value is 2 the second last node right so this much 6 is the total length 2 is the length of uh, the second last node the position from the last that means this much distance we need to cover to reach this node and that's all what we can do we can start from here we can run this distance and then we can find okay this is the node right so it is 6 minus 2 which is equal to 4 right so first second uh, so if you start from 0 base indexing 0 1 2 3 4 and if you want to start with 1 let us you are saying that this is the first node then it means that n minus the oh, sorry the total number of length l minus n plus 1 that is total number of length is 6 minus 2 plus 1 that is fifth node so if you're taking it as a first node then 1 2 3 4 5 fifth node you need to delete if you are taking it like zero based if you are calculating using zero based indexing then it is the simple l minus n that is the fourth node that's all what we need to do right so to find the distance from the starting till the position that we need to delete that we need to find right so instead of moving from the back you can just move from the front by simple uh, we know that the length of the linked list is this and the nth node we need to find is this so that subtract both of them and then we can traverse it from the front and just find the value of that particular node so this is only some basic uh, you know knowledge for you uh, to get to the solution but i would recommend you to solve it now on your own just try to code it down and if you are not able to form the code and if the code is not accepted then you can look at the coding section that's the best way to practice any coding problem so let us understand now what is the coding structure of this particular problem in c okay guys so this is the code snippet that you can see on clicking on the submit button and there are certain languages which you can choose right for your own comfort so we are doing in this uh, we are doing this in c so let's start so we have been given two things that is the head and the n right so first of all let us create a temp node which is equal to head so that we can modify it and we can run it uh, okay so first of all let us see that how we can calculate the length right so it is always important to understand each and everything from the basics so let us see we can how we can calculate uh, length so while temp dot next is not equal to null simply we need to traverse the whole length next right okay so while temp dot next is not equal to null let us make a variable that is length equals to zero and what we will do here First, uh, we will modify the temp and we'll calculate the length right so <coughs> length plus plus and temp equals to dot next right so we have changing the uh, temp pointer and we are modifying the length as well so we have calculated the total length now what we need to do we are taking the zero base indexing let's take let's assume so first of all we need to calculate what distance we need to cover from the starting so this is the total length and this is n so we can take like net distance net distance equal to total length minus n right or you can assign it to the same variable length as well if you want right because ultimately we need some value which is the difference of both of these right so for common understanding if you're a beginner also let us assume that this is the net length that we are getting right okay now we need to traverse the linked list from the starting till this particular net length right so what we can do can we do like this while temp dot next is not equal to null 
while tem dot next is not equal to null obviously it will not be null uh, and net is greater than zero and we can subtract net as we can subtract net uh, in the loop can we do like this but the click here is that temp is already modified right if you see the temp is already modified here and we are at certain length so what we need to do either we need to take a new pointer and initialize it with head otherwise what we can do we can make temp is equal to head like that only because this portion is completed right we have calculated length we do not require any further clarifications for that we can make the same the same temp as head right it will be starting it will be from the starting and net is greater than zero right so this condition we can apply now what we can do first of all net will be greater than equal to zero at zero at zeroth position we have our element right if we see like if we see at zeroth position our element will be formed so if we have a linked list of le length 7 and we want second last node so 5 4 3 2 1 0 right so second last node will be at zeroth position so we'll be making it equal to 0 right so what we will do now temp will be equal to temp dot next this is the case and whenever it will have 0 the net value will become 0 so how we'll modify in the net net minus minus right so whenever the net value will be equal to 0 it will just move out from the loop and what we will return from here we will return the data that they want right okay so this is how we can get the nth node from the last i think it is good let's try and see whether we get some error or let's see what what will be the status let's try to submit it and we got ac 